So I took in a little bread and circus the other day by watching the Super Bowl, as many others have, many of which only watched for the commercials. And I find it odd that it's the one day of the year where no one wants to fast forward through the commercials. But it got me thinking about the sign of Gemini and how deceptive it can really be. So, let's get into it. The sign of Gemini is ruled by the planet Mercury and is associated with mutable air. Mutable means changeable, adaptable, and when you hear mutable, I want you to think of duality, polarity, especially in the case of Gemini. It is the sign of the twins, after all. Its symbol looks like the Roman numeral 2, but it's actually a depiction of the pillars, of duality itself. See, the sign of Gemini ruled by Mercury is all about communication, the communication of ideas. Think of what the world would be like if we weren't able to communicate with each other. This is what Mercury does for us. And so Mercury governs communications, but anything with calm in it, really communication, commerce, commercials. And so, yes, those Super Bowl ads that everybody was watching are ruled by the sign of Gemini. So where does the duality, the polarity, come into it? Well, communication itself is very binary. It's either yes or no, true or false. There isn't just one sign for true communication and a totally different sign for false communication. Gemini just rules over communication in general. Whether it be honest or deceptive doesn't matter. And so in this regard, Gemini has a reputation for being deceptive. Now, I'm not saying that if you have your son in Gemini that you're a liar or anything. I don't want to get flooded with emails from people getting upset over that. What I am saying is that communication goes both ways, literally. To communicate, someone has to speak, another has to listen. One is projective, the other is receptive. Sounds a lot like polarity and the law of gender, doesn't it? I mean... Mercury is the most androgynous planet, with Gemini being the most androgynous sign. Um, Hermes, hermaphrodite, this comes from Mercury, encompassing both sexes, the projective and the receptive energies. So not only is there polarity in the act of communication, but there's also duality in the information that's being communicated. The information is either going to be true or it's going to be false, and anywhere in between. But when it comes to deception, many times Gemini just doesn't outright lie. Many times it just won't say anything. Which brings us back to the commercials. It's not what they're telling you. It's what they're not telling you. <laughs> that is his balloon, I'm sure of it. How? Well, it's like he said, he's not trustworthy. So if he says it is his balloon, I say it's not. I mean, look, Mercury is also the planet of speed. It's the messenger with the wings on his feet and helmet. With commercials, they have 30 seconds to which to convince you to buy something. And if it didn't work, they wouldn't continue to spend millions doing it. I mean, think about that. They have 30 seconds to convince you to buy a car. And most of the time, they don't even say anything about the car. They just show it driving around. 
And so they show you these images of the car driving down the roads, trucks going off-road four-wheeling, and not really saying anything about it. What's the language of the subconscious? Images and symbolism. And it works. You're having magic performed upon you. They can't fit all the information about that vehicle in 30 seconds. There's just simply no way. And it's also illegal to say anything untrue, i.e. false advertising, and so they just don't say anything at all. When it comes to commercial advertising, if there's anything great to say about the product, you can bet they're going to play that up. And they're going to leave out anything negative. And of course, they're always opinionated. They're allowed to say that their product is the best. Well, of course, everyone's going to say that their product is the best. Why wouldn't they? Again, the truth is always subjective. One person may think it's the best, another person not so much. And so they are allowed a certain degree of advertising with subjective, biased opinion. So when it comes to Gemini, communications, commerce, commercials, it's not what they're telling you that you need to be concerned with as much as it is what they're not telling you. No. No what? No, we're not going to make a deal. Why not? Because you don't know how to get to Guy. I do. He's lying. <laughs> I may be bad, but I always stick to my deals and I very rarely ever lie. It's much more fun to tell the truth. <laughs> Yes, I will be doing part two of the mailbag. I just wanted to get this out there while I was thinking about it. Right after our greatest Gemini Deception Day, the Super Bowl. And I will see you next time. Take care.